Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these cute painted canvas magnets. Here's what you're gonna need. The magnets I found at Walmart for about a dollar a piece. You're gonna need newspaper, paint brushes, a pencil, a paper plate, whatever paints you decide to use, and stencils if you want to use them. I found it was easier this way, but if you're good at drawing letters, you could do that too. Let's get into it. These are the magnets. They have canvas on the front and the whole back is a magnet. These are the stencils I used. You can find these at Walmart too. They're the perfect size. First thing you want to do is put your stencil on the magnet and just trace it out. I realized that I put the C too high up, so I stopped and fixed it off camera and also did the H. Next thing you want to do is put enough paint on your paper plate to start painting with, but don't use too much, you don't want to waste it. Then you take a small tip paintbrush and you start outlining the letter. You can also paint the inside of the letter if you want to, but I wanted to leave mine white. Now I'm grabbing a wider brush and I'm going to start filling in the white spaces. Don't forget to do the borders too. I stopped and painted the other two. Now that everything's dry, I'm going to erase the pencil lines it's kind of hard to get off once you've painted it, but just try your best. Now I'm drawing a small fox on the bottom of the H. You can draw whatever you want. I like to draw before I paint so that I don't mess up when I'm painting it. I stopped to grab the colors I needed. Start to carefully paint in the areas that you need. Stop to grab more colors. It's 
Sometimes I like to use the paint on the inside of my paint cap just so I'm not wasting any that I don't need. So all done, there's our fox. On this one I decided to draw a small princess crown. I was erasing any excess lines so they wouldn't show up underneath the paint. Be really careful around the edges. Doing the pink cap trick again. There's our princess crown. On this one I decided to draw a cute little flower. On this one you don't really have to be as careful because flowers petals aren't perfect, so you can mess up a little bit. For this one I decided to mix some paint so I could outline the petals because they weren't really showing up as individuals. Always remember to add your dark color to your light color. Here you can see I'm carefully outlining the petal. I decided to add some lines just so the flower would have some dimension to it.
Next thing I did was mix a little bit of paint for the middle. There's our flower. I decided that I should add some dots to the outside of the letters just to make it pop a little more. If you want to do this, you could do dots or stripes or hearts or stars or whatever you feel like. Just don't put too much paint on your paintbrush because you don't want to end up with a big blob. Alright, there we go you guys, all finished. Make them for yourself or your friends. And remember to come back next week for a new video.